Today, a lot of people are very excited about the reunion of one of the greatest bands of all time, Led Zeppelin. I just wanted to say I share that excitement. Led Zeppelin was pretty much put to rest by the death of drummer John Bonham in 1980, and I find it kind of ironic that the movie Spinal Tap makes fun of the fact that the drummer in the band is usually treated like the most replaceable member. Heck, even bands like ACDC carried on with a new singer, and Black Sabbath carried on with several different singers, but not the Mighty Zepp. They were that tight, they had to leave the name behind. So throughout the 80s, the three remaining members would reunite for Live Aid and some other events I'm not sure about, but these were all short sets. And in the 90s, Page and Plant toured together and recorded an album, actually two I think, a live one and a studio one, I don't know, check my facts, but they just called the band Page and Plant, which is kind of interesting because The Who still tour and it's just Roger Daltrey and Pete Townsend, but they still call it The Who. Although, they are the only two surviving members, but concerning the Page and Plant band, it was common knowledge, or rumor, I don't know, that John Paul Jones wasn't happy that they didn't include him. Although, it seems they were respectable enough not to call it Led Zeppelin. I don't know, that's just how I see it. But anyway, a full-fledged reunion has been the subject of rumor over the years, and for a while it looked like it wasn't going to happen. I mean, some even say that it shouldn't happen. But hey, roughly about the time I'm posting this video, Robert Plant, Jimmy Page, John Paul Jones, and John Bonham's son, Jason Bonham, are taking the stage in London for a quote-unquote one-time-only benefit concert. Today is the first time Page, Plant, and Jones have been scheduled to play a full two-hour set together in 27 years. That's my entire life. So, this has got to be the most hyped concert in history. Unless they find Elvis or dig up the rest of the Beatles, there's nothing bigger than this. Now, you think they would air it on TV, right? Or at least broadcast it over the radio? Nope, doesn't seem like it, and I think that's a shame. I mean, that's the reason I'm doing this video. It's a one-time only show, and unless they decide to tour, which is possible, but nothing's said and done yet, and most likely it's not going to happen, you know, don't you think they would milk this concert for all it's worth? Put it on pay-per-view? Hell, there's only about 20,000 some people who will get to see it, but millions more who want to see it. It's the biggest demand for one show in history, so why not raise more money off pay-per-view? I'm sure we'll get tons of unauthorized videos of it, like all over YouTube, taken from cell phones, but that's why people do that stuff, because there's no other way to see it. So, to all the Led Zeppelin fans out there, today is bittersweet for all of us. They were one of the great pioneers in rock, they're living legends, and they've done so many styles that no matter what kind of music you like, you probably like Led Zeppelin because they're so all over the place. You got your heavy shit, your bluesy stuff, and everything, you know, your meat and vegetables. Music is like nutrition, but with just a little bit of lead in your diet, you get all your vitamins. So here's to the mighty Led Zeppelin. Bring us a DVD of the show, or better yet, bring us a tour. If not, that's why there's bootlegs.